Hey art friends, in this lesson we're going to learn how to draw a spring landscape. It's going to be a lot of fun and I hope you're going to follow along with me. Let's get started. I'm using a marker and marker paper to draw on, but you can use whatever you have at home or in the classroom. You could use a color pencil, crayons, or even oil pastels. Now we're going to start with our landscape with the things that are closest to us. That's also called the foreground. So, and the things that are closest to us are lower on our paper. So we're gonna start at the very bottom and we're gonna work our way towards the top. So down here, we're gonna draw, oh, before we do that, you can also fill your entire paper or we can add a border, a big rectangle shape that matches the shape of our paper so that we don't have to fill the entire thing. So if you want a smaller project, you can make your rectangle really small. And if you really want a big challenge, you could fill your entire paper and leave the rectangle off. I'm gonna draw a medium sized rectangle. We'll start here. I'm gonna draw it about this far away from the edge of the paper. I'm gonna turn my paper this way and then we'll pull a line towards us here. And you could also use a ruler if you want to draw perfectly straight lines, but I like practicing freehand. There we go. And one last line to connect the top. Now this is gonna make our project a little bit easier because we don't have to fill the entire page. Let's start down here at the bottom. And we're gonna draw our first row of flowers. These are the things that are closest to us, so they're lowest on the paper. I'm gonna draw really simple flowers. We'll start with the, a circle in the middle. And then we can draw the petals going all the way around. Also remember, because it's just me in the studio, if I go too fast, or if I fast forward the video, you can always pause for more time. Okay, now let's draw a couple more of these. We're gonna spread them out and maybe even change their height. So let's draw another one here. I'm gonna draw a little taller. We'll draw the petals around. And then this one I'm gonna draw down here in the corner like this. Now let's draw some other flowers in between. We can draw, oh, let's draw a tulip shape. We're going to draw the letter U and then we can draw a curve down and then a curve across. And then let's draw the center of the tulip inside. Let's draw another flower. This one could be maybe a, a lilac. I think that's <laughs> a lilac flower. I don't know all of the names of the flowers, but this one's going to be more tall like this and little popcorn shapes that connect. Although I think these are on bushes more than on a stem, but that's okay. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna mix up some other flowers. Maybe this one could be small like this. And then let's just draw four petals going around it. So we're trying to fill in a lot of the space. And then, oh, in between, let's just draw more of a leaf plant. I'm gonna draw a big stem. Then we'll draw a leaf at the top. Then I'm gonna draw leaves going down on each side. So we'll just create a leaf on both sides as we go down the stem. Also remember, you don't have to draw the flowers just like me. You can pause the video and add different flowers and change the shapes. And also you could add more or less flowers. Oh, let's start adding the stems and also the leaves for each of the flowers we've already drawn. So down here, I'm gonna draw I'm gonna draw a stem that comes down. We draw two lines, and then we can draw a leaf down here at the bottom on each side. Then let's do the same thing. This time I'm just gonna draw a stem down, and then we'll draw maybe just one big leaf, and then we could draw another leaf coming the other way, overlapping too. Oh, let's even add a bunch more leaves. We can even add leaves over here. This could also be grass. And then I'm going to add in the stems for all of the other flowers. This looks really cool, except now I'm going to draw a row of leaves behind these flowers that we've just drawn. This could also be really tall grass, or maybe we could add more leaf shapes. And then I'm going to draw some zigzag lines. And we're just trying to make it look really natural and 
really cool. I think we're done with that row of flowers. Now let's move into our landscape. We're gonna draw the next thing a little higher up, and this is further back or behind these flowers. Let's add a path. Now, this first part of the path, I'm gonna draw it kind of bumpy, but we could also add grass, a zigzag line in there. And maybe we'll add a straighter line and then more grass. Now let's add the other side of the path. I'm gonna do the same thing. We'll add some zigzag lines mixed in with our path line. Oh, we could also add little stones on the path. So I'm drawing really squished circles or oval shapes. And you could change the size of these. Don't draw them all the same size. You can make some of them small and some bigger. We can imagine ourselves walking on the path. It would be nice to have something to sit on. We could have a big rock or you could even draw a bench. I'm gonna draw a rock. So we could draw a big upside down U shape. And then we can draw, oh, let's add another rock. A smaller rock right next to it. And so I drew the bottom. Then we added this smaller upside down U. We'll add another curve for the bottom. And then let's add more zigzags for grass coming up on the rock. Oh, that looks really cool. I think we need more flowers. Let's do it. We're gonna add the circle and then the petals coming around. We could also make the flower look more 3D by drawing an oval shape instead of a circle for the center. Then when we draw the petals, we're gonna try to draw them looking like they're coming down. And then the petals on the back side could be smaller because you can't see them as much. They're hanging below the center or on the back side of the flower. Let's add another tulip shape over here. So we'll draw the same upside down U. We can draw a curve down and across. Then let's add the stems and the leaves. I'm gonna add a stem down, a leaf down at the bottom on each side. Let's do the same thing for the tulip, but maybe the tulip just has one tall leaf on the side. Oh, and a stem over here too. Now let's draw the next part of our landscape. And these could be the hills that we see kind of off in the background. So I'm gonna draw a curve coming down. Oh, and on this we could draw little bushes. Let's add a bush here. We could add more bumpy lines too. And maybe there's another bush right here that's behind it. Oh, and then let's draw another hill going this way over the rock and off to the side. Let's add some bushes over here too. We could draw taller ones. We could change the shape of these plants. We can overlap them. Let's add a smaller one right here. Maybe it, there's another one that's going off the page. We could add more. This is where you can really have a lot of fun and add a ton of extra things. You could even add insects like bees or butterflies. You could add oh, more plants or even animals. You could add birds. Let's add some trees. Let's add one right here on the side. I'm gonna draw it curving up like this. We'll add two lines for the trunk. And then we're gonna draw a little popcorn line for the trunk going into the leaves. And then we're gonna draw and we're gonna draw a big popcorn line going around for the rest of the tree. Let's add another tree over here on the side. Maybe this one could be pink, full of cherry blossoms. So we're gonna repeat the same step. We got two lines for the trunk, then we got the popcorn line. Add another popcorn line that's bigger going around. Oh, and right in the middle, we definitely need the sun. I'm gonna draw a circle in between the two trees. And we also gotta add a happy face. <laughs> there we go. We're gonna add the sunbeams coming out later with the color. I think I'm gonna add a few more flowers and even some blossoms in the trees. Now you can pause the video and add even more things to your drawing. All right, we did it. We finished drawing all of the details to our spring landscape. Now we need to color it. This part will fast forward again. So pause the video and take that extra time to color in your drawings. Let's speed things up. We 
did it. We finished coloring and drawing our spring landscape and it turned out so cool. I love how it looks all colored in. Now you can pause the video right now to match my same coloring or you can change the colors however you want. I used a lot of green for the grass, the trees, and the leaves. And I also used different types of green light greens and dark greens to change and add variety to the drawing. I also had a lot of fun coloring the flowers, all different colors. Then we also added texture to the bushes in the background and even added some shading, but you can leave off those extra details to keep the lesson a little easier. Also, don't forget to add clouds and you can even color in your sun and add the sun rays. But I think it would be even cooler if you added animals and even insects. I hope you had a lot of fun following along with me and drawing a spring landscape. I'm sure your drawings turned out really cool. And remember, it's okay if they look different than mine. The most important thing is to have fun and to practice. And we'll see you later, art friends. Goodbye.